Hi, my name is Nick Allen, and I'm president of the HEMA Club at VCU, and today we're talking about Vomtag. So Vomtag is one of the most basic guards in German Longsword. It's a uh, fantastic guard for not only attacking, but also defending. And it looks like this. You're going to have your right foot back, left foot forward, holding your sword nice and loose, and the sword is going to be back over your shoulder like this, elbows tucked in. This is what it looks like on the right side from the front. This is what it looks like on the left side from the front. This is what it looks like on the left side from the side. This is what it looks like from the right side on the side. Notice how the sword isn't actually on my shoulder. You can rest it on there if you want to. I personally don't. My elbows are tucked in and I'm poised and ready for cutting. This guard, like I said, is fantastic for cuts and it's also great for being able to defend from a wide variety of things. That's why this is probably one of the most common guards that you'll see people hanging out in during sparring. So with guards, there's several transfers, and these transfers are how you move from one side of your body to the other. And these also accompany some cuts that each guard is specialized for. Now, Vomtag, the cuts are the Oberhau, the Mittelhau, and the Unterhau. The Oberhau is the basic downward cut that we've all seen from every movie. The way that it looks is you always do it with a passing step. So if you're going from the right side to the left side, you step and you cut down to your hip. And then for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to be moving it back into the guard on the left side. If you're going from left to right, you cut and you bring it back in. Now make sure that you're doing a really nice clean diagonal angle with this, that your arm is fully extended. And we'll look at this from the side. On the right side, my arm right arm, which is furthest up on the sword, is fully extended. That way I'm getting the most reach possible out of my nice long sword. Comes down onto the left side, and if we're doing it from the left side, you cut with a step and carry it in right here. That's the overhaul. It's very basic and it's very effective. This is going to be what you're going to use if you see an opening on the upper areas of the body. The next one is called the middle how. This is where you have a nice clean sweep for space. You can also use it to hit some of those targets like the side of the head or the side of the leg. The way this one works is you cut, the sword goes flat, and then you bring it up. If you're going from left to right, the sword goes flat, and it comes up to here. Notice how I'm trying to recover into a nice solid bomb tug guard every time. If we look at it from the side, going from right to left, you cut, the sword is nice and flat, and you come in cut and in. The last one is called the Unterhau. This one is a little bit tricky because it involves instead of cutting above, you're cutting below. So you're going to be cutting with the true or long edge of the sword, the one that's facing away towards you and the side of the sword that your knuckles are on. So what it's going to look like is you're here, the tip drops down behind you as you step, it comes up in this nice rising cut to here, and then you recover into bump tug. If you're doing it from left to right, you step, the tip drops down, comes up, into bump tug. Let's take a look at it from the side. If you're doing it from right to left, the tip drops down behind you as you step, comes into this nice rising cut, into here. And if you're going from left to right, step, down, and up. Again, my right arm is fully extended with both of these cuts, that way I'm getting the most reach possible. And notice how my sword, the edge, is pointed towards the target. Sometimes I see people trying to cut with the flat of the blade like this. It doesn't work so well. Try to aim with the actual edge of the blade and then recover into your guard. So the way that we practice these is stringing them all together. You do the overhouse, then the middle house, then the underhouse. Our studio is kind of small, so I'm going to be taking tiny steps. But if you were to actually do this, make sure that you're doing big steps and normal oblique passing steps with these cuts. You always do oblique passing steps because we're trying to train that to become second nature. You can also do these cuts moving backwards, which is what we'll practice. So, we'll start with the overhouse, then middle house, then the underhouse. So it looks like this. Oberhau, Oberhau, Middlehau, Middlehau, Unterhau, Unterhau. Going backwards. Oberhau, Oberhau, Mädelhau, Mädelhau, Unterhau, Unterhau. 
Now when you're training these, make sure that you do that on both sides, and we'll be covering a technique later in these series of videos on how to do that effectively and efficiently. Let's take a look at it from the side, starting on the right side. Oberhau, notice that arm's fully extended. Oberhau, Mädelhau, Mädelhau, Unterhau, Unterhau. Going backwards, Oberhau, Oberhau, Mädelhau, Mädelhau, Unterhau, Unterhau. Those are the basic transfers and cuts for Vomtog, and that's the most basic guard that you'll be using in Longsword. Thank you for watching.